Welcome to another Blu-ray review. Today we are doing the 3D review for the movie Jumper, which was originally released in 2D in uh, June of 2008. So it's five years later, they've uh, done an upconvert of uh, the movie into 3D. So uh, this review is for you 3D fans or anybody who has the 2D version and thinking of upgrading maybe the 3D version offers something new. Well, I, I hate to tell you, it actually does it, but I'll get into that later. Let's get into the movie itself. Uh, the movie Jumper is basically uh, directed by Doug Liman, which uh, actually comes from a, a book, series of books by, by Stephen Gould. I actually have all three books. I have not read them. I don't even remember the last time I actually read a book, so I apologize to you guys. I can't really compare the book to the series, but I've always been a fan of t uh, teleporting. And with the movie Jumper having the teleportation, I gained interest, bought the books, bought the movie, and just never got around to reading the books. Hopefully, maybe one day I will for you uh, fans of the movie. I can compare and contrast, you know, the two and everything. But um, as far as the movie, uh, the movie's directed by Doug Liman. Uh, you may know him from The Born Identity, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. So he has a, a bit of a, like uh, action and some comedy into his movies and everything. Um, Jumper stars Hayden Christensen. Uh, you guys know him for Star Wars. Uh, basically, he plays a character named David uh, Rice. And David is a young kid. It's starting off in the very beginning of the movie. He starts off as a young teenager, has a little crush, there's a bully picking on him. And out of the midst of the bully picking on him, David is able to teleport. Without his knowledge, he had no idea how he did it. Within a short time frame, David learns to, to, to improve his ability to teleport to get to certain areas and to gain money and everything years passes by David's all grown up now and now David is experiencing something he's being harassed and he's being harassed by Samuel Jackson who plays a character named Roland and Roland is a part of an organization called the Palatins and the Palatins kill jumpers the teleporters and where uh, David now teams up with another guy named Griffin who also teleports and everything. They're trying to hide that they're teleporters, that the Palatins are chasing. Griffin is a lot different than uh, David. He, he, does, he does not fear the Palatin. He actually chases them as well. And then the movie just kind of goes all about the teleporting, the Palatins chasing them. There's some hidden twisting in there and everything. Uh, I know this movie did not do well at the box office. I know a lot of people are not even fans of it, but I'm, I'm actually one of the people who actually enjoys the movie. Uh, I guess because I've always had a thing for teleporting. You know, if I had a superpower, I can choose one. That would be the main one I would want, teleporting. Or be like uh, the guy from Heroes who was like a sponge. He can absorb everybody's ability to keep it. Uh, so that would be pretty cool. But um, basically, uh, the movie itself, I would definitely would rate it probably a, a 3.0. Maybe higher than most people would. But I think it's a fun watch. It's not a movie that I think a lot of people are crazy about, but it's a movie that I personally gain interest in. You know, reviews and opinions are subjective, so hey, I'm entitled to my own opinion, whether you like it or not. So I hope I hope you guys enjoyed the movie as much as I did. Okay, now on to the visual. Uh, the visual is basically an MVC encode since it's a 3D release, not the, not a 2D. Uh, the 2D version is included with the 3D movie. The, the movie is presented in full 1080p. Uh, it's identical to the 2D release. If you own the 2008 version, there's really no need to upgrade unless you want a 3D, um, the 3D, the uh, 3D disc for itself to watch it in 3D. Uh, I personally don't think it's a big deal, but uh, some scenes are still dark. Um, it still carries a lot of grain to it. Colors are vibrant. The CG of the jump scars look amazing. It's, uh, Overall, with the locating and knowing that they probably use a green screen and did not travel to all these locations, uh, it looks good. It looks fairly good. It's not a, a, a demo disc or anything, you know, nothing to brag to friends. The 3D itself didn't do much. I, I saw a lot of people were comparing it probably to iRobot. I think it's slightly better than the iRobot Iro well, conversion. Uh, so far, I'm not a big fan of Converted 3D. The only movies that I enjoyed Converted 3D was probably Titanic and Piranha. There may be, may, there may be a few more, but those are the main two that are popping off the top of my head. Um, 
depth is okay. In certain spots, it's really terrible as far as the depth. There's nothing that's popping out. So really, the 3D is kind of just a, maybe a one-time watch. If you own the 2D or you can get the 2D version of the movie, I definitely recommend getting the 2D. Uh, the 3D just is, did nothing. It really did nothing to the movie. Uh, the audio is great, it's still 5.1, it's the same audio track, they didn't upgrade the audio either, it's the same audio um, brought in from the last one, uh, last version that was released. Um, dialogue is very clear, it's front channel and everything, uh, subwoofers come into play during some of the, the battle scenes between uh, David and Roland and Griffin and uh, the Palatins. Uh, so the audio is pretty good, Abby and subwoofer come to life from here and there, uh, rare channels are, are pretty good so it's a solid uh, audio uh, visual score I definitely will probably have to give uh, 3.5 out of 5 uh, the 3d 1.5 out of 5 like I said it just didn't do much uh, the audio I'm gonna have to probably give a uh, 4.0 out of 5 audio is pretty solid I did enjoy it it's really good um, now I'm gonna probably show you guys the scene that I noticed that was very different from the 2D version that I bought in 2008. Okay, now we're into the scene that's different from the 3D version from the oh, 2D version. Uh, it's well, when uh, David well, meets Griffin. As you'll see, there's a huge difference. This is yeah, the 3D version. Never mind. Yeah, I wouldn't hold that door for you. Not if I wanted my girlfriend to keep breathing, I wouldn't. But that's just me. Okay, now we're here with the 2D version. Oh, uh, uh, mind, man. Just, whoa! Uh, Look right, see ya. Big person, guy peeing. This isn't a fashion show, I'm taking a piss, do you mind? This is all yours. <laughs> wouldn't I let that door follow you? Not if I wanted my girlfriend to keep breathing, I wouldn't. But that's just me. What are you gonna do anyway? You're gonna bring it down and have a nice little. As you see, there's a huge difference from the 2008 version and to the new 3D version when uh, David and Griffin first meet uh, in the original 2008 release. Uh, Griffin was actually peeing, and now in the 2013 3D release, he's just sitting on top of a, a little stone thing, and I don't get it. The movie's still probably is still rated PG-13, so I really didn't understand why they made the big change. But it's there, so for you 3D and 2D fans or fans of the movie, now you see there's a difference in one scene. That's the only scene I noticed. I'm not a huge fan of the movie where I caught every single little detail, but that was one thing I did notice was the meeting of them. So uh, for you guys who are interested in Jumper 3D, I personally would pass on it. Uh, if you're a fan of the movie, you're going to want to probably get it anyway. You know, up to you. Uh, 3D didn't do much for me. I probably would never watch it again in 3D if I did choose. Uh, I don't even see why you, if you have a Samsung or a Sony TV, you can just uh, convert to 3D yourself and it's going to look the same. There's, there's no need to watch this movie in 3D, even though teleporting would be a cool thing for 3D usage. It's just this one didn't deliver it for a conversion. Well, until then, you know, I hope you guys stay tuned. Leave comments. If you got any questions about this 3D release, hit me up. Um, I'll get back to you if there's a 3D movie you would like for me to review. Uh, leave it or email me, whatever. Contact me and I will get them to you, okay? I'll stay tuned.